Hi everyone, welcome back to this series. Today we're going to cover iterators, which is basically just a, a, normally a safer way to iterate over elements of uh, a slice or an array or something like this. I made my own custom one just to kind of explain it simply. First, we have a uh, we're going to do U8 because it's just easier. Uh, we have this, which you're going to go through, and we're going to use the comma as the delimiter. And the delimiter is basically the the letter you want to find to separate them. Um, so I've created my own custom iterator. One is for single things. One is for slices. So the custom iterator single. I'll show you this. Uh, so first we have init single, which just creates it, and it's just simply we have the buffer, which is this, the text, the index, which is which letter we're at, and the delimiter is the letter we want to find and separate with. Um, so here we put in, for example, the text, and then the delimiter is the comma. The only problem with this is it will actually show uh, it will show the spaces because we have spaces here. Uh, you want to use the slice if you want to do that, if you want to have multiple things. But it's not actually too complicated how this works. Um, so we only have a few functions. We have first, which gets the first element and asserts that the index is zero. If it's not zero, you get an error. Next, we'll get the next element, and I have the find letter function, uh, which simply just looks for the next letter and returns null if it doesn't find it. Um, then, uh, so at the top, if start index is null, then we re just return null. And if end index is null, we return null. Otherwise, we set the index to after the delimiter, because we want to look for here. It's comma. R r ignore the comma, go to the next part. Ignore the comma, go to the next part. So we set it after the delimiter. Uh, and the way you use it normally is just say, say iterator.next in a while loop with this, which will capture. So basically, we'll say, if this is not null, put it in entry and then do something with it. If it is null, then break out of the loop. And that's basically how it works. So to use it is a lot easier than actually writing it. And then I have init slice, which is basically the same thing, except for it uses a, um, a delimiter of a slice. And that's all the difference is. Uh, so next we'll uh, use find slice. And we have this function, if two slices are the same, first we, we check if the first letter is the same, then we look for the rest of them and see if they're the same as well. If it is, then we return the index and we found the uh, we found it. And then basically we have to put it after the length of the delimiter size. So if it's two letters, put it two letters plus one. So we don't have the comma and the space inside the, uh, the text next time. Of course, there are a few other functions. You have, for example, rest, which I believe will show the rest of the function. Like it shows the uh, what's from the index, what's left. Reset will go back to zero, and uh, peak, I believe, will um, will look will get the next element but not change the index. So you don't want to put peak in a while loop, otherwise you'll go forever. But that's basically all it all there is to iterators. I'll just show you the results of this. So we've run this. I have loads of iterators running, but custom iterator single, custom iterator slice. This is an example. And then we got the inbuilt iterators. The, in, the main difference between the inbuilt iterators and mine are the inbuilt iterators can be multiple types. So you can use the, so we have uh, here, I'll show you, we have sequence, any scalar. Sequence is a slice, any is one element or a slice, and scalar is one element. So you choose between those. And you also choose the type, so it couldn't could be any type. It doesn't have to be U8s. So in theory, you could do this with I32s or U32s or whatever you wanted to do. Um, so the, the reason why you use this split function, because uh, it's a split iterator, you basically use uh, splits, but there are different versions of this function. Say, for example, you want a split scalar. So you do std.mem or split, sorry, split, scalar and that will give you the scalar version uh, by default um, so you basically choose it like that so here it's split i believe this by default will give you a sequence yes uh, then you have scalar then you have any and you know you choose it like this in theory you can make this yourself because the split iterator just simply returns a struct and then sets the values to that inside the struct um, I'm not actually sure what the difference between the token iterator is because they seem to do the exact same thing, but I seem to be having an issue here as well because when I print this, it actually has the uh, commas at the end. I don't know if this is a bug or not, 
the that's just because um say for example i have this utils class that just has loads of print functions it prints the quotes with a slice i'm guessing i'm putting in an empty slice there i'm not actually sure what's wrong with that to be honest but anyway they seem to both the same uh i'm not actually sure what the difference between the tokenizer iterator is and that but you don't really need to understand these to use them you basically just put in this line here and then just put iterator.next in a while loop and then you can use them. Uh, that's basically how iterators work. Uh, one thing you should know is a split iterator and a tokenizer iterator, token token iterator, are actually anonymous structs, which I'll quickly go over just so you understand what an anonymous struct is. Right, so here I have a um, so here I have a color two five five and a color zero one. So the color two five five is zero to two five five, and the color o one is zero to one, or should be zero to one anyway. Um, but imagine you wanted to choose which one you wanted. So that for that you need to use anonymous structs and comp time. So here at the top I have function color, comp time t type, and returns a type, and then we return the struct with t. So whatever we put in will be the type. At the bottom we have color two five five equals color u eight, color color o one equals color f thirty two. So we're putting it in at compile time um, to work out what it is. It will basically, whatever you put in, will be the type. And that's basically what an anonymous struct is. Of course, the, the ones in the um, in this are a bit more complicated, and they have a lot more choices. But that's basically what it is. There's also this thing we have self equals at this. The reason is when you have a method, you need to use self. But it doesn't know what self is, because it could be... A split, iterator, a split iterator of U8, a split iterator of U64. It needs to know what it is, basically. So we use at this, so it knows at compile time what it is when we actually use methods. But I'll probably go more into uh, anonymous structs in the next uh, episode. Um, but this is just basic iterators. I believe there are other types of iterators. I'm not sure which, which ones exist. These are the main ones you want to use. Uh, so SCD I'm split iterator and then SCD I'm token iterator, which I'm not sure the difference is, honestly. It doesn't even tell you in the documentation what the difference is. So I actually don't know. They seem to be doing the same thing for me. Anyway, that's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys next time.